Well, I report on car accidents every day, which, you know, with the traffic out there, and I haven't had an accident in over 15 years. So you kind of wonder, how do you really know what to do when you don't have an accident that often? So we brought in Captain Jeffrey Sellers, and he's from Claremont County, and he's going to talk to us really about what you do because you're nervous when that happens. I mean, I have to admit, I was not really sure what was going on. So what are the first things that you really need to do or to be ready for? Well, the first thing you need to do when you're involved in a crash is do a quick situational check. Um, check your surroundings, check your vehicle, make sure it's not unsafe to be in. Um, secondly, you probably ought to check, make sure it's safe to get out of your vehicle. And uh, after you take care of those two things, you might want to check on the passenger of the other vehicle. Okay. Um, so you would get out of the car. I mean, basically, it was kind of, I think I looked around. So you do need to kind of get out and assess the situation. How often do you actually really try to drive or move the car away? Because you have to worry about being able for somebody to assess, I mean, liability on an accident like that. Yeah. If you're in a minor fender bender, um, a very low speed rear end crash, um, by all means, if it's safe to do so, pull to a safe location. Um, the, the traffic on the, the major interstates is a dangerous place to be setting still. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely a scary place to be, but it's kind of like sometimes you also wonder if it's safe to really get out of your car and assess the situation. Do you get out of your car and take pictures? Do you, I mean, what, what else do, would you suggest you do if you were somewhere where you felt like you could, or, I mean, especially in my situation, was a T-bone, so it was kind of like I got out and looked around, and not thinking about it, I did move my car, but then you worry about, because there is a lot of responsibility with insurance and, and things like that. Sure, and I, I wouldn't recommend getting out of your car unless you're in a low traffic area. Um, you don't want to be out in traffic with oncoming or traffic coming at you. Um, and taking pictures of the scene is important. Um, if you do plan on moving your vehicles, I would recommend that you take pictures of the scene. Um, if you don't, and you do move the vehicles, um, Officers are trained by damage assessment to, they, in witness statements, they can determine the at-fault vehicle. Okay. Well, and then definitely that was something else. I left without getting, I had the guy's name and I had witnesses' names, but I didn't keep them. The police officer had them. So is that something you really need to kind of hold on to? Yeah. For later on down the road, your insurance is going to need that information. And uh, sometimes it's a delay before the, the report the officer takes. Right. Uh, getting it in and getting it recorded versus the time your insurance company is actually wanting that information. Right. I know I went to call it in that day, but I couldn't get the police report for a couple of days yet. So that was the situation. So you really do need to hold on to any of the witnesses' names and, and information. Yeah, that'll help you out early on. And, you know, I, I, the other thing I didn't do, I didn't go to the hospital right away. It, and, and that's probably something that I would suggest that anybody do. And how do they feel about it? I mean, even though I didn't think I was hurt, it really hit me afterwards. Yeah, a lot of times you don't feel the effects of these crashes until the day, the day after because you're so, um, you're, you're so amped up and your muscles are so tense. Um, the next day is really when you start feeling the effects. Yeah, I did. I felt it for a couple of days. And I really appreciate you coming in and sitting down and talking to us. I felt kind of stupid when I was going through all of this. So it's just something to think about. And when you're in an accident, just kind of mentally be ready. So right now we're going to send this back over to Rob and Kara.